So the new shots are the first uh, real updates that we've had to the COVID-19 vaccine since they were originally introduced uh, in the, the late period of 2020. So all of the vaccines that we've gotten up to this point, uh, whether they were the primary series or uh, booster doses, were the same um, type of vaccine. And that was built off the original strain of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now, the key difference between that vaccine and the most recent vaccines is that the new ones uh, are what they call a bivalent vaccine, which means they have uh, components of both the original strain of uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, as well as the Omicron subvariants uh, of that are known as BA4 and BA5. And since those are the predominantly uh, strains that are circulating worldwide, particularly BA5, it's felt that this newer vaccine uh, will be one that offers better protection and longer lasting immunity. And it's called a bivalent vaccine because it has those two components. One is the original strain and one is the, the new subvariants of, of Omicron. Yes, you're eligible for the bivalent booster. In fact, it is the only vaccine you should get as a booster dose. The monovalent vaccine is still available, but it really is only for individuals who have never had the COVID vaccine. So it would be the what they call the primary series that they should get uh, as their first two doses. The FDA has authorized and the CDC has recommended that you wait at least two months after your most recent booster dose before you receive the bivalent vaccine. Yes, you actually do have um, some protection. It's, uh, in fact, we know from previous studies uh, with other variants of COVID vaccine or COVID that you have some natural immunity uh, from a previous infection. And that's one of the reasons why they recommend waiting uh, for an interval of time before you receive uh, a booster dose. In this case, the CDC is recommending you wait at least three months at minimum between your recent COVID infection and receiving the bivalent vaccine. So if you've recently had an infection, uh, the CDC recommends you wait at least three months before you receive the bivalent vaccine booster. However, you could wait longer. Uh, as with most vaccines, uh, you never want to take a vaccine shorter than that interval or sooner than is recommended, but you can always take it later than is recommended. And in some cases, there may be some benefits to actually getting that booster at a later time. Well, with many vaccines, to include COVID, um, immunologic studies have shown if you extend that interval between doses, uh, you can actually improve the immune response uh, as well as maybe the duration of protection. Uh, it's certainly felt that in some cases, extending that interval, in this case from say two to three months to something like four to six months, uh, may give you longer lasting protection because uh, it in increases the uh, number of neutralizing antibodies, which are the antibodies that actually target the, the pathogen, in this case, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And it also um, increases the activity of uh, B cells and T cells, which are part of our immune system. So B cells and T cells are parts of our immune system. They are actually white blood cells. And B cells actually produce the antibodies that people know about. And antibodies really are the ones that target those pathogens, whether it's bacteria or viruses or even toxins in some cases. T cells actually attack other cells that are infected with those pathogens. And so really they're both part of our uh, comprehensive immune system that helps protect us from, from disease. So hyperactive immunity is just a general term for an, an overactive uh, immune state. And that can happen with certain diseases, but it also can happen with um, a, a normal response to either an infection or a normal response to a vaccination. And what it implies is there's a sort of a plateau or a, a high level of effectiveness of our immune system. So if you're in a hyperimmune state, um, there's probably limited benefit to getting another vaccine dose. It really doesn't add uh, to the ability to respond more quickly. It doesn't uh, provide a longer response. However, if you um, come out of that hyperimmune state, which often happens with a longer interval between doses, uh, that next booster dose really has a greater effect to enhance our immune system response therefore give greater protection and could last longer uh, as well in your system to protect you against uh, disease.